There we go. Like I said, you don't want to be fixing your saw when you're trying to win a competition. Here's a nice piece. We are in Bay Harbor, Michigan, right on the water. This is Bay Harbor, right out there. And I'm gonna plug in three things to this. Ooh. Well, that just broke. This chain needs to be sharpened. Let's tighten this thing up a little bit. That is about perfect. This is an Alaskan mill. This is a mixture of WD-40 and vegetable oil. And also the power's out. That's better. I'm uh, I'm gonna put the base of it right here, and it's gonna kind of be out here. Okay. So we're gonna put three of these out, try to keep people away from you a little bit. Cool, I appreciate it. Yeah, just to make sure this thing's working. It's just an angle grinder. That's pretty solid. And then we got some various end mills over here. I just want to find out which ones are sharper. I know it's not too shabby, but I think I might want to use this one. Works pretty good. I'm always trying to go a little bit too fast, but that's how you win it. And hopefully, you guys will see just that. Some good old winning. When this thing's finished, it's gonna be about about 10 feet tall, I think. See, a lot of the strength is gonna come from this section right here. Yeah. I am doing, it's two like fictitious birds that I kind of just invented just cause I, I mean, they're similar to birds, but they're the type of swallow, I suppose. That's what they're based off of. But, um, you know, I exaggerated some things and took off other things that I didn't like. Just more or less to make the piece more, um, more interesting out of ice. That looks really good. Wow. This thing's heavy. Yeah. You ready you get, for this? Can you lift it? Coming on. All right, back to side it. Not yet. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Close that. I hope. Don't move anything. Are you letting go? You want me to? I don't have to pull that off. 
Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm not feeling any weight anymore, so I'm, I'm out of it. Just to make sure everything, check, check, check. Yeah, no, I can see a freeze. It's it's good. It's almost got like an abstract base with the two swallows coming down on it. And uh, it's supposed to sort of like represent like the base is almost like their path in flight. And then you can see them coming down it. And uh, there's a lot of movement. The judges definitely like the movement stuff. So I tried to incorporate all that. I don't know, I've always liked sculpture. I've been actually trying to get in some other stuff. Losing a little bit of interest in having all my work completely just literally go down the drain after I'm done with it. Noise. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Come on. Stick, stick, stick. Oh. Wait, wait. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> Stay on the birds. Blood birds. Blood birds. I think the one of the the bird that's at the top is probably going to end up weighing in at about 200 maybe about 200 pounds and it's on like a stalk of ice that's coming out. It's about like that far and it's just sitting on it. And it's, you know, just like a thin stock of ice. So, I mean, I, I, I did a practice of it and I hung on, like grabbed onto it and hung on the block and it, it didn't break. So as long as my seams are good, it should be, should be all right. As long as I don't, you know, hit it with a ladder or something. Okay, that's a good spot for that. And then, I can't see through this stinking block. I've just always loved sculpting. Got into it in college. Became the president of the ice carving club there and won a couple prizes doing that. It's fun. I mean, it's really respected. Um, 
I mean, as you can see, they're putting us up in this cool joint and having a bunch of people come out and watch us. And, and it's fun, like, learning something bizarre like that, like how to work with ice and push ice to the limit, you know? And that's, that's also what this piece is about. I mean, I'm taking some crazy risks in doing what I'm doing on this particular piece. The mouth is a good spot to grab it. You got it? Yeah. Yep. You know, when you're working with a chainsaw and you're working on a seam, you want to get the ice, you know, you want to make as straight of cuts as you can. And then uh, from there, you take the, the ice and either put it on the um, sheets of aluminum that are, you know, usually like heating already with um, irons. And uh, you just take that sheet of aluminum and either put the ice onto there or take the aluminum to the ice. And then you get it like really smooth. And then when you take it away, if it's really cold, those like the drips will still be coming down it and they'll freeze that way. And you don't want that. I, I like I, I either take a squeegee or you know if I'm in a hurry or something I'll just take like my arm or something and just like wipe the excess water on there off that way you're it'll freeze real quick and it'll still be perfectly smooth yeah it'll help me stick it on there you got the the reach so you can go on that side and we'll flip it over and put it on there. got it I can yeah. hold it sideways, but it's on there. Well, it should. Hey. Put water on? Yeah. Put some water on. Jumping. Wait, is the, seam, is the seam good yet, though? I don't know. See, what I'm doing, Scott, is I'm going to trap the water in there with the snow. And what, you're going to carve off the snow later? Yeah. So see how like there's that big air pocket? If yeah. I just pour stuff in there, it's just gonna run back out. Okay. But if I if I pack a bunch of snow in it, I'm just gonna It'll leave a little inlet right there for the water. Yeah. You, like, does it look solid? There's a slight crack up the top. It's just all good. Should I just pour water in? Yeah. If you really wanna like assure that you're gonna win, you you gotta take that step and just do the crazy stuff. I don't know, you, you just gotta push it and I mean I know it's possible. I, I practiced the piece almost specifically to make sure all the physics worked on it and you know it I, I've seen I've seen crazier stuff. But um that was pushing it a little bit. Is it getting warm out or like you're just getting doing a lot of work and getting used to the cold? It is getting warm out. Yeah, it is as cold as it was. The really snow is getting like damp. This is not good. I'm thinking about putting dry ice on it tonight. It's getting warm. Like, I don't want this thing to fall apart in the middle of the night. Yeah, that no, would, I understand like, that. blow my whole damn thing. You take a wing. And, you know, you're trying to get a wing that's, like, heavy on one side to stick at a 90-degree angle out from your piece and stick it on there hard enough where it's going to stay. Yeah, dude, this is getting, it's getting, it's getting warm out. It's not good. How much time do we have left? We got an hour and 20 minutes. Oh wow, that's a long time. Do not touch it. <laughs> well, you can see from this angle that there's some voids there. A little I bit. Mean, not much bit, though. Yeah. Not much at all. Yeah, that's why I left Man, it. Man, that was a really nice uh, freeze. It, you know, if it's not an abstract piece, I'm, I'm trying to make it look like something something reasonable, like something real. A lot of times when I do, like, competition carvings, I'm not, I'm not 
picking a, a real animal or like a real subject, it's, you know, I, I like to, you know, kind of mis mismatch things together, you know, like a centaur or something, you know, like it's, it's not like a real thing. So you, you have the freedom to experiment with things like that. Yeah, dude, it's getting super warm out. This is nuts. Grab it like, yeah, and on the seam. Stay in the middle of that. Don't go out on that wing. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh, at least it didn't break. Let me oh. Oh. Let's put him back. Woo. Woo. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, we, we gotta just watch that we don't jostle them. You get them where you want them, and then you you have it like this, and you open it up a little bit, and either you have like, if you're doing it yourself, you just, you know, put a little water, and then like you squirt that in there, and then you seam it real quick, and then you hold it there for a little while. If it's real cold, it'll stick almost instantly, and then um, that's how you get real good seams. Does that freeze pretty good? No, it's too warm. We need some dry ice. Oh, man. Well, I think I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. You're only freezing like less than a hair's thickness of water in between there. If it's cold, it'll stick instantly. You're only trying to freeze Got this water. Like, tiny bit of water. I think I need water. Whew. Squirt it on there. Jeff, if you start at eight tomorrow, that means you'll be fishing. Pour more water. At the same time we start ours, you'll be there like during the whole time. Squirt it in there. Look at that thing. And that's that's how that works. And um, yeah, in cold weather, it's 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 easy. But <laughs> there's like nothing holding this thing together, but like a little no. Whatever, I'm just gonna carve it until it falls off. We don't have any dry ice here, do we? I got some coming, but I kind of need it now. <laughs> like if, you, if you're gonna add on like an arm or like a wing or something, 
you want to have that wing as light as you can before you try and seam it on. You know, if you got like a wing and another wing and you're like trying to put them together and they like they're supposed to join like like this, you you leave all this area like kind of bulky that way you can trim that down and make everything symmetrical and you know come together nicely. You got that? All right, I'll try and go as fast as I can so you don't have to hold that for 100 years. Do mine again. And... Ta-da! Shit. That is really tricky. For me, I guess, I like, I, I like realism, but then again, I, you know, I, it's like kind of like gonzo realism where, you know, you, you have real parts, real aspects to it, but, you know, if you want to see a bird that has like a longer tail or a cooler beak or something, like, you can make it up and... Do whatever you want. <laughs> Let's stack these things up, then you have more, more stability. Uh, okay, I've, I've broken through planks before. I don't feel good about that. That would be chaotic. Remember? He's gotta freeze it on. Can you can you let it go? Is it gonna move? I can let it go. It is still like wobbly though. I mean it's it's cool to get in that like zen type of thing where it's you know, it's not going to last forever, and it, it's, it, it really is, like, the love of the art as far as, like, sculpting goes. I, I, that's what I've found, at least, is a lot of the carvers, they don't, it's, you know, it's going to be gone, and it doesn't last. And so you're always, I guess it's job security if you do that for a living. gotta look at the weather like the day before and everything and know that if you are gonna be doing some of that stuff you, you gotta have dry ice and sleeping bags and cold packs That's it right there. so you build that slush around it stick that in there and then it'll it'll freeze all that slush and then you just you just leave it and you you got all that dry ice in there and it gets everything real cold and then eventually that seam that you had there will freeze like with all that coldness all around it it'll freeze and then in the last few minutes of your your carving you you would just go through with your saw or whatever tool you want and you just get rid of all the slush and then you're left with like a perfect seam in warm weather I'll just put it in my mouth It'll probably stay for a while at least. <laughs> Good enough. Whatever, it's better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> make ourselves a blast chiller. This weather is pissing me off. Blow on it? Is that what you want? No. 
<laughs> What's a blast chair? <laughs> that is a blast chair. You, you know, I practiced that piece before, and even, you know, every time you do it, it you know, it's going to be different. Um, and you're just, you're just always thinking about what, what you can do and what you, um, what you need to do to make it happen. I mean, obviously you have the idea, you've been working on it for a while, you have the templates and it's, you know, you, you know, if anyone looked at it, you'd think it's kind of cut and paste, but you know, there's, there's so many variables and you're, you're working with the ice. The ice is always different. You know, you're just, you know, you're trying to work with what you got and you know, accomplish what you can. Oh, it's not cold enough. Open that thing back up, Adam. You need a. Ice carving suicide is when you go out onto a frozen lake and take your chainsaw and cut a circle around yourself. And then you sink. <laughs> <laughs> 